Hello everyone! I am in Florida right now celebrating Nana's 91st birthday. So happy birthday, Nana. As you all well know, I don't miss a week of box office predictions though, and uh, this is gonna be a little short and sweet because I gotta go be with my family, but uh, gonna bring them to you right now. Hopefully I can do just as well as I did last weekend. But before we get to that, we've got our Fantasy Movie League uh, winners here. We've got, I believe it's 12 perfect lineups. Let's bring them up all on the screen right now. You can see all of their names. Congratulations, guys, kicking off 2020 mighty strong and I did as well because uh, not only did I go five for five But some of my numbers were pretty close I will pat myself on the back for that like my number for Star Wars the rise of Skywalker Which held on to that top spot as expected with another 34.5 million dollars Jumanji the next level enjoyed an excellent hold dropping in just 25.6 percent and making another 26.2 million little women did wind up topping for Frozen 2 and then taking the number 3 spot with 13.6 million. That was compared to Frozen 2's 11.9 million dollar haul which was good enough for number 4. And then finally number 5 did go to The Grudge which kicked off its run with about 11.4 million dollars. Rolling into the new weekend now, I am a little curious to see where Underwater falls because I think that one could make a nice chunk of money even though expectations are pretty low at this point but I've got a little more faith in Just Mercy, so that is my number five this time around. And in order to figure this one out, I am looking back at other Oscar contenders that had a limited opening and then went wide in early January. And I got a bunch of titles here, some of which I think are too high, some of which are too low for Just Mercy. Like, for example, Hate Flight and Hit Hidden Figures, they had numbers that were way too big for this one. And on the basis of sex and also vice, numbers that were too small. The one that I think could be right on point, though, is Selma, because when it went wide in January 2015, made $11 million that weekend, and seems like a very reasonable number for Just Mercy, so that's what I'm going with. Just Mercy making $11 million this weekend. Now we are on to number four, and that's where we've got one of our new wide releases. It is Like a Boss. I do think the fact that we haven't seen a new studio comedy hit theaters nationwide recently is going to work in this one's favor. I don't know how high it's going to go, though. First movie I started looking at was was I Feel Pretty. When it opened up in April of 2018, it made $16 million. I think that might be a little high for Like a Boss though, especially because I do think that that April slot was a stronger release date there. So let's say I bring it down a touch. I like the number $13 million for Like a Boss's first weekend in theaters. Now we are on to number three, and that is where I have Jumanji The Next Level, which I do anticipate still holding strong this weekend. I think the good comfort this time around is going to be Rogue One, a Star Wars story. So Rogue One at this point in its run, it did have a little more to lose, but Jumanji is the one with the higher per theater average. So I am thinking that Rogue One's weekend 5% change could stay in the exact same spot for Jumanji the next level. That would be a 40% drop, which would mean Jumanji is taking another $15.5 million to the bank. Now we are on to number two, and actually that's where I have Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. I think it is finally losing the top spot. More on that in a little bit, but for this one, looking back at Last Jedi, again, gonna bring up a point I made last week, which is that New Year's fell at a different time, so it's changing their runs a good deal right now, but I still think I think Weekend 5 for Last Jedi could help me figure out Weekend 4 of Rise of Skywalker because at that point in its run, it was facing off against a Jumanji movie, two new wide releases, and an Oscar contender that was having a nationwide expansion. And at that point, it dropped 50%. That 50% seems like a very reasonable drop for Rise of Skywalker, and if that's what happens, it's gonna take the number two spot with $17 million. And now it's on to the movie that dethroned Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. My number one spot this weekend is going to Golden Globe winner, 1917. I do really think that this would have done well, win or lose at the Globes, but there is no doubt that those two big, big wins are gonna give it a nice boost for its nationwide expansion. And I'm looking at a movie that followed a similar release strategy, Lone Survivor had a limited opening late 2013 and then went wide early 2014 just like this is doing and its first week in a wide release made a whopping $37.8 million. I am hesitant to put 1917 that high but I still think
think that it could come pretty close. The number I'm settling on for this one is a $30 million opening for 1917's first weekend in wide release. That brings us to the recap portion of the show now. 1917 is my number one pick with $30 million. Then I have Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker at number two with $17 million. Number three is going to Jumanji The Next Level with $15.5 million. Then I've got Like a Boss coming in at number four with $13 million. And then Just Mercy is rounding out my top five with $11 million. That's it. Your turn now. Hit that comment section below. Put your top fives right there with your number picks. Head on over to Fantasy Movie League and lock those lineups. Before I say goodbye, Patreon shout out time. Got a great group right here. A bunch of you guys are on my movie recommendation tier. So I enjoy checking in with you on that on a monthly basis. I hope you enjoy some of the movies that I've recommended. You guys are Carol, Steven, Wessel, Brandon, and Tabitha. Another big thank you to you guys for being here and supporting the campaign. It does mean a lot to me, and it means a lot to me that all of you guys are watching and engaging with these videos. I love talking box office. I love sharing my predictions with you and hearing your thoughts. So thank you so much for watching this. Please wish Nana a happy 91st birthday. We've got clearly my, my little niece is here too, and she's gonna be celebrating as well. It's gonna be a, a good weekend with family, and I can never argue with that. So thank you guys so much for sharing these box office predictions with me. Like and share this video before you leave. I'll see you next weekend. See how we all did on our box office predictions.